Hey guys, it's Anthony. Welcome back to my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K series. Today I'm going to be talking about the Metabones EF to Micro Four Thirds Speed Booster XL and why we chose this Metabones in particular over the others for our Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. So the reason you want to get an adapter like this from Metabones in the first place is because there is a four-thirds sensor in the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K and because of that if you just get a straight lens adapter, it's gonna be a two times crop. So a 24 millimeter lens is gonna end up looking like a 48, and that's just gonna, you know, not allow for a lot of wide angle shots and things you might need to get. So you get a speed booster that basically is a magnification of a certain type. So this is the XL, and it's a 0.64 times. So when you put this on, not only are you getting a little bit more light into the sensor, about one and a third stop, you're also getting about a 1.2 times crop. And so I did some testing on it with our Rokinon Cine lenses, which we use on most of our shoots. We have a 24, a 35, a 50, and an 85 millimeter. So I tested all of these against the Blackmagic Ursa Mini 4.6K that we usually shoot on. And I put the sensor in the same spot for each of the cameras on a tripod and did some tests with myself as the subject. And I'm gonna go over those reviews with you right now because I found them very interesting. So with the footage from these Rokinons, the first thing that I'm noticing right off the bat is that the crop on the Pocket Cinema doesn't seem to be following what the math says it should. Again, I lined up these sensors directly in the same spot, so they should be putting out the same image, but with a 1.2 times crop on the Pocket Cinema. But you can see that there is obviously more space in the Pocket Cinema than there is on the 4.6K footage. The second thing is, of course, the extra light in the pocket cinema footage because of that one and a third extra stops of light. But this one and a third stops is actually affecting more than just the lighting. If we look here in the background at this Panic at the Disco poster on the 85 millimeter shot, all of these were shot at f2.8, but it's looking like the depth of field is becoming something closer to a 1.5 or something that has a much more shallow depth of field, which is a really interesting effect from this Metabones adapter. So the other major thing I wanted to test with the speed booster is motion shots. With Firecat Cinema, we're always doing handheld shots, running and gunning on these commercials, and we're usually doing that with the 4.6K Ursa Mini, which has a good amount of weight to it, so you can really make sure you're getting a steady shot. But with the smaller body of the Pocket Cinema 4K, I really wanted to make sure that that smaller sensor wasn't gonna lead to unusable images if we're doing handheld. So, I put the Canon 24 to 105 f4 with image stabilization on both cameras and did a test at 24 millimeters and 70 millimeters to see just how these sensors are comparing in stabilization. So this is a standard kind of Firecat Cinema shot where we're rotating around a product and this is something that we do quite common for our work. So with that in mind, I really wanted to see it 24 with and without the IS and I would say the pocket is holding up well. When we go closer to 70 millimeters, we see with no IS that both cameras are doing around the same, but when you turn the IS on, it becomes almost indistinguishable which camera is doing a better job stabilizing, which I think speaks very highly of the Metabones adapter. And when a 25% warp stabilizer from Premiere is added, either shot would be completely usable for Firecat Cinema. I also wanted to test the stabilization of the pocket on location with my girlfriend out in Long Beach. And so with that in mind, when we're looking at these shots, I wouldn't use anything that doesn't have the image stabilization turned on, but the stuff that does have it turned on is almost perfectly usable. And then once you toss on the 25% warp stabilizer, it looks like it could belong in any normal kind of video that we would be putting out through Firecat Cinema, and I was really impressed with this Metabones adapter. So, so far I'm really happy with the Metabones Speed Booster XL.64. I don't really see the point in getting the 0.71 at this point unless you're using lenses that aren't full frame because if you're used to using full frame lenses, you're getting almost the same image size that you would be getting if you were using it on a full frame sensor. And to me, that just makes it look that much more cinematic and also just that much more like what I'm used to seeing coming out of the camera. And that makes me happy to see that coming out of this tiny body of the Pocket Cinema 4K. So let me know down in the comments if you agree with me and let me know what else you wanna see with with the Pocket Cinema 4K as we continue this series. Make sure you like this video and subscribe down below, and I will see you in the next one, guys.